Today on In the Woodyard, I've got sharp saws and I've got some wood. So here's what's happening. We're cutting wood. So here's what's left of some of the tree service wood. I had a roll that went all the way out to where the saws are out there and I cut all that. And that has all been cut, split, and part of it stacked. That's all the stuff all through here. But what's left now is this pile right here. Some of this stuff looks like it might be able to go through the process. So like these first couple look pretty good. But there's a lot of crotchy ones like here and there and there. I see there's a whole bunch of them, which is why I put these over here when I was sorting um, when I moved the wood originally. And then there's another pile right over here that's a bunch of odd sized stuff and crotchy ones like this here and you know splits like this. So I might even get over to this pile eventually. It's a very nice day today. It's about 75 and sunny and breezy. I put the canopy up here so that I can cut in the shade for as much as possible. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. When you get out of the sun, the temperature drops like 10 degrees instantly. So this is the place to be right here. So it'll work pretty good. I'm going to be cutting the rest of this right now and chucking the rounds out that way. So cutting's happening right now.
I just cut for maybe 15 minutes, if that, so not even a half a tank of gas. I threw some rounds out of the way as I started, and then I just started climbing the pile and uh, got as much as I could get safely. It, the footing is getting a little dodgy, as they like to say. Um, but I'm gonna throw these out of the way now and then be able to cut the rest of this. And the reason I like this saw so much, speed unlimited speed it's just so fast through the cuts and this ash is kind of dry so it doesn't cut really good if you don't keep the, the chain moving wide open it'll bog down because your chips will get clogged in there and that happens i've talked to several guys with steel chainsaws too and they said the same thing even cutting with a 500 you've got to kind of hold it back a little bit you can't just let it fall or even push it because with cutting ash when it's such dry wood like this it'll clog up on you it'll bog down because you'll you, you can't clear the chips fast enough. And I was a little aggressive on my uh, sharpening. I sharpened it really good, but I was pretty aggressive on the uh, rakers, on the depth gauges. I took them down a couple strokes and it's, it bites. But the saw can handle it. And I can handle the saw because I've been cutting long enough, so I kind of know what to do. But man, that thing cuts fast. And that's one of the reasons why I like it so much. If it was a little lighter, I would sell all my other saws and I'd get a couple more of these but it's heavy. It's not heavy, it's just you can't cut all day with it. I mean, you're good for, you know, two, three tanks and you need to go to a, a smaller saw like a 572 or something, something a little lighter. And I've got those sitting over there. I got two more 572s and the 576. I'll cut with those once this one is, is complete. Um, I, like to, I like to run them till they're empty and then I like to set them to the side. Even if they're sharp, I don't like filling them right back up. Um, it's not terribly hot today, but heat is the enemy of the saw. You want to let them cool down, so that's a big reason why I've got multiple saws. I like to cut with them until they're empty, put them in the shade, let them cool off. If I need to sharpen them, I sharpen them. Otherwise, I just fill them up. This is real sharp. It's cutting great. So I'm going to let it sit a while while I throw these rounds out of here, and then we're going to get back to cutting.
cutting for crap. bunch of wood cut didn't take long at all that went fast that, that 592 cut so fast except when I got down I thought it was just about out of gas I must have cut this crotch this nasty looking one here I must have had a rock in there or something it got dull just right now it wasn't cutting at all so I had to start up a, a 572 but almost I would say 95 percent of this right here was cut on that one tank which is awesome it's amazing how fast that thing cuts. So for those of you that think, oh, you know, you don't need a big saw. No, you don't. But if you want to cut a lot of wood fast, you need a big saw. Um, it, it cuts way faster than my 572s. My 572s cut almost as fast as a 500 still. So um, that 92 is just, it's unbelievably fun to cut with. So now we're going to come over here. I'm going to cut on these big bad boys here. Look at these crotchety things. There's some nasty ones. I'll probably have to do some ripping on this one because I don't think I'll, even if I cut this into rounds, I don't think I'll be able to lift that to get on the splitter. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of nasty stuff here. And I see I was just looking over there and there's some crotchety ones in there yet too that I might have to pull those out when I separate them to go to the processor, bring them over here and cut them. So this pile is going to get cut next and I'll just keep working my way that direction. It's a beautiful day to be outside working. Too bad you got to be sitting in an office. <laughs> Back to cutting.
at the carnage I have created once again. So I ran one tank completely empty, and then the one saw I ran until it got dull, which it was close to being empty, and then I just started up the third saw just to finish this little bit right here. So I got uh, pretty much just two tanks cut for all this. Saws were cutting awesome, but they always do because I sharpen them pretty good. So there it is. Nice. I love cutting wood. It's just one of the greatest things there is. Don't know how to explain it. Those of you that cut, you know what I mean. It's just a blast cutting. So there, I got that done. I got this whole pile done, and I got that little pile done. And I cut a little bit on that one until I ran out. So that is nice. Tomorrow, I'm going to split this. So that's what's going to happen. That's all I got time for today, folks. You know what to do. Poke the buttons, hit them all. Tomorrow, I'm going to be back in the wood yard with another video for you at 5.30 a.m. If you can't wait till then, there's over 700 videos on my channel waiting for you to watch right now. Thanks for subscribing, and good night, Irene.